Hey YouTube, welcome back to another great video from RC Worsting Company. Today we're going to show you how to install a replacement lead or a jam nut style lead inside of a Franklin Electric submersible motor. So it's a pretty easy process but there is a right and a wrong way to do it. Um, so we're going to get right into it. Alright, so here we go. We've got our motor. Now the first thing we're going to do is just do a quick inspection inside of the hole where the jam nuts actually installed. Hopefully you guys can see that. Uh, and this one looks really good. It's nice and clean. You don't have any moisture in there and that is ideal. If you got water or debris or anything in there, make sure you clean that out really well beforehand. Uh, and typically when you get a new lead from the factory, it's going to be just like this. Uh, it's gonna have a little plastic wrapper on there. And the whole idea of this wrapper is there's some dielectric grease or oil that's on that jam nut. And the whole idea with that dielectric grease is to um, help with the seal and also keep the rubber kind of lubricated and moist. And, and um, so dielectric grease is a good thing for that because it's not going to allow any arcing or sparking to go on. So um, that's just a factory recommendation. So if you, if you have an older lead somewhere that you're using, make sure to throw some of that on there. I think it's available at most auto parts stores. Um, so enough about that. So when it comes to putting the jam nut in here, once we've got a nice nice um, lead, you wanna make sure you inspect it and everything, make sure there's not any cracks or damage to the wire, of course. Um, so the proper way to do this is you've got a little, <clears throat> a little, I guess we'll call it a bump, um, and you line that up with the, the corresponding bump there, and then you just shove the lead in, and I'm gonna move this jam nut actually out of the way so I can get my hand on this thing and I like to kind of just once you get it started in there kind of just wiggle it back and forth until it goes all the way down and you'll be able to feel when it hits the bottom and it definitely feels like it's all the way down right now and the way to test that is if you can thread this in almost the whole way with your fingers you've done it properly so once it's in all the way, uh, finger tight, the factory recommendation, and I've got a three quarter inch wrench here, the factory recommendation is 15 to 20 pounds. So I'm just gonna torque on this a little bit. So we got about half a turn, there's one turn. So I've only had about one and a half turns before it's starting to get tight on me. And I'll give this a good amount of torque. You don't wanna over torque it, cause then you might damage the rubber. Um, and then you're gonna have water pouring down in there. But now it's good and tight, you're not gonna have any leaks, and uh, it's a relatively easy thing to install. All right, so and the last thing that I wanna remind you of when you buy a motor uh, or get a motor that has the lead already installed, or in the instance that you install the lead and then set the motor aside for any period of time, basically if you're not installing it right away, go back and double check that you've got 15 to 20 pounds on that nut because uh, it can loosen with time or if it was installed at the factory, maybe they didn't torque it down properly and it's better to be safe than sorry when you're dealing with a submersible well pump. So that's our video, hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more great content. Don't forget new videos every Tuesday and Friday. We will catch you next time.